Hola, I am Jose Antonio, one of the coordinators members of the Erasmus Plus training course for LGBT inclusion. So I will talk to you about one very powerful technique called Levatros, what it was developed by the University Department of Anthropology in USA. That's a very great technique in order to discover stereotypes and prejudices in the society. The activity has two phases. The first phase, it is a dramatization dynamic where the people are visiting an imaginary country, in this case Albatros, where the local people have a ceremony of welcoming and they introduce the basic rules of their society. The second part is the most interesting thing, is the part where the people show what they think, they understand how was that culture and then they make their hypothesis. They talk about how it is or they perceive the culture in this country or what is the gender roles and in this way we can discover what kind of cultural elements we really have inside ourselves that determine our perception of the world. This uh, technique it has very strong orientation to discover cultural differences, but as well it can be useful for gender roles or to promote gender equality or it can be taken about LGBT. Hi, my name is Islam and not a long time ago I participated in uh, one of the training courses of Erasmus+. Plus. I participated and took part in one really interesting method of working with the people. It's called um, the, uh, Sock Puppet Theater. And I found it really interesting. Uh, how should you do it? I will share with you some information about this. First of all, you should uh, take to the, make a group of four and five people. Um, and then they should create their own puppet and their own story which they want to share with the people. You can let your students to show their creativity because uh, first of all they will have to create their own uh, th socks like uh, toys and uh, uh, after that to show their creativity on making stories and talking. And uh, if you are working as a teacher or working with the children or teenagers or just doing some trainings, it is a really good option to involve to the program students which are really feeling shy in front of talking and performing in front of the public. Hello. My name is Hande. I want to share with you a technique that we learn in this training course. It's called Theater of the Oppressed. This theater technique created by Augusta Ball. It's a form of popular community-based education that uses theater as a tool for transformation. Now I will be talking about form theater because in our project we focus especially the form theater. In this technique, the players can focus a conflict or a problem they want to show. Their conflict or problem should stimulate critical observation and represent a reality. First of all, the players will show us a short play. Once we watch all together this short play, then we will ask the audience, do you like this? Do you want to change something? Do you think we can find a solution? We ask players to play it one more time. This time, audience, the people who watch the show, has right to stop to play anytime they want. They can be clapping their hands or they can be stand up and say stop. In that way, we give permission and right to change the situation. So once the audience go and change the situation, change the game, and they show their alternative solution, the actors explore the results of these choices with the audience, creating a kind of theatrical debate in which experiences and ideas, ideas are shared.
by doing that, audience and the players actually will be looking together for possible solutions and they will be discussing. It's aimed to meet the needs of all people for interaction, dialogue, critical thinking and fun. So my name is Paula and I will present you the Sesamo Street method. The activity starts by imagining that we are in a neighborhood in which there are different people. Those people are the participants. All participants have a post-it stick in their foreheads with a label written on it. It can be drug addict, alcoholic, uh, gay, disabled, person with autism, and whatever. They also have an A4 paper on their backs. Participants will walk around and they will write on each other's papers what do they think when they read the label. At the end, participants will try to guess what label they had by only looking to the words that the others wrote. The idea is to create a discussion and to reflect about the stereotypes in society, how do they make us feel and to promote diversity. Depending on the topic you want to focus on, you can write those labels in relation to that topic. For example, if you want to talk about LGBT topic, you can choose labels like heterosexual, transsexual, gay, uh, bisexual, etc. Hello, I'm Eu. I'm going to present one method. Street art. This is a technique that where the participants write message freely on the street and show to the citizen. First, we divide the group in the small team, three or four people. They need to decide what message they want to write on the street. It's important the message is not longer, easy to read and clear. Later, they explain to the big group their planning. Don't forget to give visibility to your project with the logo of Erasmus Plus or the teacher or another thing.